Welcome back YouTube. Today we're talking about Walther PPS. Remember, <clears throat> you clicked on this video because it's a first impressions video. Remember what we do in these videos is that I'm going to give you my initial impressions and then we're going to review the gun and then I'll come back with a final review. And kind of the whole purpose of doing that is sometimes our initial impressions on things don't hold up. You know, maybe the grip doesn't feel weird or maybe or it doesn't feel right. It feels weird. Maybe <clears throat> the trigger doesn't seem right. And then we come back and we shoot some rounds through it and then maybe that doesn't hold up and, and we have a different opinion. So when you're going to the gun store and you're trying to, to see which one you like the best, maybe you have the same impressions and maybe those will change after you've shot it. So that's the whole purpose of these videos. Now, before we get into that, Norm has got a special message for you guys, just like he always does. He always wants to put a little, inject a little message in there, so here he is. Norm, so what I wanted to accomplish in this meeting was to brainstorm back and forth uh, a couple ideas uh, of things we can incorporate into that marketing message, that marketing portion of our uh, video to get people to subscribe uh, movies. So I want to inject movies, lines and stuff so that we can get people kind of funny, but bring it into the gun world or at least into our, our uh, channel of the gun world. Do you have any ideas on that? Um, oh yeah, brainstorm. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, like Top Gun. Uh, oh, the Naked Gun. Young Guns. Those, those could be good. I did, they don't have to be gun related. What I really meant was, like, just any movie with a gun twist. Oh, uh, let's see. Like, you mean like, like James Bond? Yeah, 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 that works. For those of you that haven't seen any of our videos before, Norm is getting better. He's our marketing guy. We sit, he's supposed to be doing a little marketing messages to get more subscribers. <clears throat> he hasn't historically been very good, but he is getting better. So we are cheering you on, Norm. Okay, so let's get into it. The Walther PPS. I have never shot a Walther PPS before. I've shot a Walther PPQ and some other Walther guns, uh, but this is gonna be a completely new experience for me. And so to be totally honest, I haven't even uh, held one very much. I have a little bit, but I've never really held one uh, in gun stores or anything like that. And so this is gonna be fairly new, uh, at least compared to some of the other guns that we've looked at, this is gonna be one of the more new ones. And so uh, I'm really excited to look at it for what you get. So I think I bought this on Bud's Gun Shop or I'll put in some B-roll on uh, how much I paid for it, but uh, I think it was like 470 or something like that. But this comes with an extra magazine and a couple extra things and so, and so it comes with this carry case as well. So if this is your first gun, uh, this would be an awesome carry case to take to the range with you. If you don't have a bag or something else or if you're not gonna carry it on you, uh, it'd be a great case to take with you to the range. You can just put it in there and, and carry it right in. Um, but let's open it up and uh, take a look at it. So uh, as you can see in here, We've got the gun itself, which is in some wrap. We'll take it out here in a second. You've got a gun lock like every gun comes with. Uh, you've got the owner's manual down here uh, underneath this foam here. And then you get two extra magazines. There's one in the gun right now. You get two extra magazines. Uh, the one in the gun is an extended magazine. Uh, you get the flat base plate magazine, and then you get another extended magazine. And so we'll have three uh, in this review, which will be good. Okay, so let's get this out and let's get the flag out of there. Okay, so let's first of all just take a look at it. I want the fat, flat base plate. All right, so let's talk about it, the Walder PPS. We're going to talk about the grip first. Um, the grip has obviously texturing all the way around the grip, uh, and it, it feels it feels good. I, I don't have any real complaints about it. I'd like it to be more, a little more aggressive, I guess, but it's fine. I think it works. Uh, I don't I don't really like the skateboard type, so that aggressive, but I do like a little bit more than that, so it grips into your hand a little bit better. Uh, the grip seems about the same as some of the others. I mean, fairly similar anyway to some of the others uh, in this size category. The Glock 43s, the P365s, it's more or less uh, the same. Uh, however, it does have these finger grooves here. So you can see those. Uh, I don't usually prefer those, but uh, they don't bother me in this case. They don't get in my way. And so I, I, I don't mind that at all. Uh, but if I could choose one or the other, I would get rid of them. Uh, but if that's something you like, then, then, then that's great. So let's talk about the sights. Sights, as you can see, uh, are kind of these yellow, whatever they are, um, night sights. And this, what I don't think that comes standard, but it did come in this one that I bought with the extra magazine. Uh, but I don't know, there's something about them. I just can't pick them up as well. And it's probably that yellow color for me. Uh, that may not bother you at all. And so just take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but for me, some of the other ones with the bright whites obviously are a little bit better. And so I prefer those, uh, but obviously this is gonna work too. So they are uh, removable. 
replaceable, whatever you want to call it, uh, if you want to. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but they're 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 good sites. I think they'll they'll help me anyway uh, get on target fairly fairly easily. But they're just not as good as some of the others. Okay, so let's talk about the trigger. The tri okay, this line of pistols, uh, the Walther's line of pistols, the PPQ, the PPS, a lot of these are uh, known for their great triggers. Um, and so I would have to agree that this one's pretty good. Let's give you this, this view here. Right, so it's pretty crisp. It feels good. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's just right. Uh, and, and then... Uh, I don't know, it just feels pretty good. As far as the reset though, that's where I guess it leaves a little bit to be desired. Oops. If you can see this or hear it, I don't know if you can. It's just very weak. And so <clears throat> the trigger's fine, but the, the reset, it's not tactile, it's not very tactile, not like some of the others uh, that have come out recently. And it's certainly uh, not very, it's not very loud. And so uh, if that's something that concerns you, you want a loud, tactile trigger, this is probably not the one, as far as the reset is concerned, this is not the one to go for. So you'd either have to, I guess, replace the trigger or go a different route. Uh, but I think, again, it will do what I want it to do because if we're looking at that, I mean, let's talk about the aesthetics first. So I think it looks like a really nice gun. Obviously, that's not an important thing when looking at a concealed carry gun like this. But uh, it doesn't hurt, right? So if you're looking at how the gun looks, I think it looks good. I think it looks really good, actually. Um, the one problem, I'd say it feels a little bit top heavy. I don't know if that's your experience. If not, I'd love to hear your comments below. Uh, but it just seems a little bit more top heavy than some of the other guns. Whether that plays a factor in how it shoots and how, uh, how I like it, I guess that'll be determined. But uh, it just seems a little bit more top heavy than some of the other guns that I've looked at. And so keep that in mind and we'll see if that changes. And then, the most important thing that we could talk about uh, at this point is what is it going to do what I what I bought it to do, right? Is it going to accomplish the task that I'm giving it? And obviously, as I mentioned just a second ago, one of the most important things we can uh, evaluate is, is, is it going to be reliable? Is it going to help me shoot quickly and accurately, right? Those types of things. And I think it will. With the exception of some of the things that I talked about, now obviously all those things are just minor dislikes. I generally think it's going to be great. Uh, but I think it will accomplish the task that we give it. And so if this is something you're looking for, obviously look at the reviews of people who have shot it and ours here coming out soon. But just the initial impressions, those are my first impressions and they may change. And so uh, for the better or for the worse. And so uh, I think though that it will accomplish the task I'm giving it, which is being able to rely on it and conceal it and all of that. So uh, what you get for the money, let's talk about that for a second. I think you get a lot for the money. Obviously the one, the biggest thing is round count. There are other guns out there that you can get more rounds uh, for uh, a similar price, a little bit more expensive. Obviously this is anywhere from I think 330 to 370 to 400, depending on what you get. I think you're going to get your money's worth. Obviously that's subject to change, but it just seems like it's quality built, it's going to be good, it's gonna work how you want it to work. And so we'll see here in the future, but, uh, but that's our opinion. We hope that we've earned your subscriptions today. Subscribe, like, comment down below with some feedback. Uh, obviously all of that engagement is what drives uh, YouTube's algorithm. And so engage with us, engage with other YouTube channels uh, that are obviously gun channels on YouTube and show YouTube that, hey, we have a thriving audience that's very lucrative to them uh, and they don't wanna get rid of it. Other than that, we love you guys. Thank you for, for being here. We really appreciate you. We will see you next time.